Hi everyone, so today we're back in on Dino Bros. Today we're going to be reviewing the Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Carnotaurus. Yes, the Carnotaurus. Uh, this came out back in 2018, I believe it was part of the first wave. It came, it didn't come in a package, it didn't come packaged with it, but kind of went with the Thrash and Throw T-Rex, which we will not be reviewing today. Um, we will be, though, hopefully soon. So let's get into this review. Alright, so first of all, we're going to take a look at what you're probably all waiting for. The, um, the articulation. So, unknown. I mean, I mean, anyway. So, the arms have articulation. They can move forward and back. I think, they, it pro I believe it does. Smaller arms than the T-Rex, but yet again, the smaller. But the legs move back and forth. This leg is a little loose. Meanwhile, this one is kind of like stiff. The tail has articulation. And then, if you press on the back, this button, see, look. So, you can chomp. Oh, uh, hold up. Do I have a figure somewhere that I can get easy access to? Doesn't seem like it. I don't feel like searching. Anyway, um, that's the articulation for this. The neck can move. The jaw can also move. <laughs> I don't care about your life. But yeah, now on to the details and stuff. So now on to the details. So the Carnotaurus has its two horns, of course. Now, mm, looking... Shut up before I kick you. <laughs> I will kick you right now, Unnoted. You can go play Souls without us. So. So, hold up. See that eye? And you can see the other eye. The This is like two years old. Yeah, it's like one and a half year old toy uh, I got on my birthday. So on October 25th, this is going to be two years old. Uh, so two years since I got it. So, of course, the eye paint is chipping off. And even the paint on the underbelly is chipping off from the uh, one and a half years of play. Um, you have the underbelly paint. Yeah, see? Look. The paint on the freaking teeth is chipping off. Because that's how much I played with this. Um, one of my favorite dinosaurs, very cool dinosaur, I'm going to put bread on this and make it toast. Um, but anyway, see this underbelly paint, very nice, very nice. The chin, and the bottom jaw, and the thing I love with Mattel's carnivores, look at those ribs and the veins, and it's just so cool. So yeah, you have the scales, the scales on top. See? Those scales. So anyway, guys. So yeah. Uh the legs, the leg paint, you have those spots. Very cool. Uh you have the scales on the side. Yeah, see all those scales on the side. Very cool. Get me first, I'm lower. But, uh, um, but, uh, yeah, scan code, I don't, I really hope you guys can see that well. But, there it is. You have toe paint, toenail paint. You have a little, I don't know if you can see it, the ankles twist, by the way. 
Uh, you have that toe on the back. Very good detail. Extremely good. You have this little Jurassic World mark. Wow! Too busy getting a freaking weapon! But, uh, yeah. You have the scales. You have all of this stuff. All the brown. Well, brown. Dark, dark red. Kinda looks like black. But, uh, yeah, very cool Carnotaurus toy. Next, we will probably be reviewing Velociraptor Blue. I don't know. Probably, maybe the Super Minus. But, yeah, in-depth review of this toy, the Carnotaurus. Uh, if you can find it at a good cheap price, because it's almost two years old, uh, then I suggest you do buy it. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please, if you're new, subscribe with notifications on. Be sure to like the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.